Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So it's day 5 of our death mode let's play and we're beginning today's episode by buying some potions because yesterday we unlocked the fact that we can now use the Reaver Shark. Look at that, it's got a swing. Thank god, if you didn't watch episode 2, what essentially happened was I actually fished this out and then we learned that you have to beat the Eater of Worlds to actually use it. So I got a lot of comments yesterday going, James, why didn't you use the Reaver Shark? Because you beat the Eye of Cthulhu. So just a little reminder for everyone, it's the Eater of Worlds. You will be surprised just how many people let me know over the course of those first four episodes that I got it wrong about this. But no, it's the Eater of Worlds, I promise. So because we've done that, I'm not going to be going for Hellstone. What we're going to do is we're going to jump straight into aero spec, so aero bars essentially. So what I'm going to do is buy some Spelunker potions and some mining potions. And I'm basically just going to go farm the hell out of this. And that's because I want to leave time so that we can do death mode brain of Cthulhu and death mode perforators. I thought that'd be a pretty cool addition to the series to actually do the crimson variants. Usually I would just skip them or just not show them. But I thought this series, let's do it a little bit different. So one of the things that people recommended was actually building a sky island and then turning that to crimson or converting one of the other ones to crimson. I think that's a really cool idea. I don't know exactly how well that's going to work, but I might give it a go. And if I can't be bothered, I'll just make a crimson world because that's pretty simple. Right, I'm off to go mine and farm. Alright, so we can make some aero spec armor. Basically, all you need is that aero light that I was mining. And then you also need a few things from some sky islands like rain blocks, cloud blocks, and feathers. So I went and gathered all that. So let's see here. Aero. Here we go. Uh, so let's see. Aero spec leggings. 12% increased movement speed. So we're going to make that. And then we'll make the chest piece. So plus 20 max mana, plus 1 max minion. So we'll craft that. And then you get a range of different helmets. You get magic, throwing, melee, summoning, and range. So, just like before, we're going to go ranged. Plus, it looks really, really good. Like, it looks like a cultist mask. So, I'll make that. And then, I guess we leave it at that. There's nothing else that I want to actually make. So, let's put this on. So, we now have 28 defense compared to 19. And then, let's see the set bonus here. Set bonus, 5% increased movement speed and range critical strike chance. Taking over 25% damage in one hit will cause a speed of homing feathers to fall and allows you to fall more quickly and disable fall damage. And disables fall damage, oh my god. That's literally perfect. Do you always fall slower? Or is it like a trigger key? It might actually be a trigger key and I'm not too sure. So despite the fact I've been a YouTuber for many years, this is actually my first artificial crimson biome. So I went all out. I jumped onto another world and got a bunch of like crimtain block because I found that dirt with crimson seeds on top of it doesn't cut it. And then what I did was I actually made little floating islands in the sky with more of the blocks because I was like, you know what? If I accidentally go out of biome and despawn something, I'm going to like be really frustrated. So I was like, you know what? This is this is good. So hopefully this looks all right. Like I say, this is my first one. I'm not exactly used to doing this sort of stuff. So I'm going to zoom in. And now the first boss we're going to do is the Brain of Cthulhu. We'll get that one out of the way. And then I think I want to do Hive Mind next. And then we'll do the Perforators. And then we'll do Skeletron. I don't know how much of that I'll actually get done. So you'll see by the end of the episode. But that's how ambitious I'm feeling today begin okay brain of cthulhu all right here she is all right i'm not exactly sure how i'm gonna get my adrenaline off oh okay here you go here are the little eyeballs and stuff my only problem is that she teleports around a lot and i'm beginning to oh okay right that was dead dumb <laughs> i was trying to figure out how to turn my map on but my only problem is i'm like she teleports around a lot and that's going to do a lot of damage to me so i don't know if i'm exactly going to do this all right but then I'm thinking, well, I've got aero spec, which is technically above her now. So, we'll see. 
I don't know why I'm calling it a he and a her. I don't think I've ever called the Brain of Cthulhu a her. It is the most genderless thing going. Okay, so death mode, I'm guessing the teleport phase at the end is like insane. Wow, the damage she does is mental. Why am I, why am I still using she? <laughs> Makes no sense. A fungal clump doing good work. Oh, I've never, ah, oh, I've never been good at this fight because I'm, I'm terrible at telling what, uh, which one's the real one, but I'm doing okay so far. Well, kind of. I mean, I'm not doing that great. <laughs> I'm getting by, like, the skin of my teeth. I really don't know which one's the real one, so I'm just kind of relying that my fungal clump will do the work. Oh, there you go. Sick. So that obviously is a lot harder. It's just that we are doing it with better gear, essentially. If that makes sense. Think of it like... Which one's that in replace of? The Eater of Worlds. Yeah, so we have Aero Spec, which is above that. Alright, let's see. Torn Note 2. Oh, I want to go outside so I can actually read this properly. It is not well known, but Wing of the World allows you... Oh, Torn Note is a... <laughs> Alchemist. Let's get rid of that. I should get the other ones, right? Do you not get the little, like, spinny little things that you get that's part of the lore? Right, I got a hasty brain of confusion. I've got lots of tissue samples, lots of crimtain ore. And that's about it. Not bad. So I made a comment yesterday during the video and I was like, you know what? They should have all of the crimson alternatives actually be sold by the dryad. Uh, yeah, she actually already does. <laughs> so I made myself like a right fool because it was already in the game. I never thought to go and check because I was like, I thought I was being really unique. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I don't need that. Actually, it's a material. What do you make? I don't actually know. I don't play a lot of uh, Crimson World, so it may actually make something that... Oh, yeah, okay. Rotten Brain. 10% increase. So, is that from the Hive Mind? We'll see. Right, so up next is the Hive Mind. I haven't done this boss in a very long time, and also it's death mode, so we'll see how we do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it out, and if I fail, we'll just keep going and, uh, and trying to improve our character. But for now, I'm feeling pretty confident about it. I don't think the Hive Mind is too bad, but you never know. We'll see. So I got a comment yesterday actually recommending a new weapon and I was like, you know what? That would have been absolutely perfect if I'd gotten it a little bit sooner. So I'm going to make it anyway just to show you guys. But you basically need pumpkins, pumpkin seeds, and then you need... Uh, what else is it you need? Illegal gun parts. So we already bought that in a previous episode. So I'm going to stick all of this in here and we're going to see what it makes. But this is what it's called. It's called... What is it called? <laughs> Let's see, it's called the Pumpler. The Pumpler. Okay. I don't know, like I say, I don't think it'll be any better than the Opal Striker, because that's already pretty good. But we will see. So, Pump... Or oh, actually, you need to go into this. Pumpler. Here we go. 10 range damage. So, with Superior, it's 12. Extremely weak knockback, 33% chance to not consume ammo. So this is the Opal Striker. And this is the Pumpler. Oh, it's a mini shark. <laughs> it's basically a mini shark, right? A cheaper a cheaper mini shark, maybe? If I had a mannequin, I would test it out. But maybe I'll use it during the hive mind. So what I've got to do now is I've got to go to the corruption and actually just sit around and wait for a hive sister to appear. And then once that appears, we can actually go ahead and do the hive mind. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this one because I always liked this boss because it was the one I used on the thumbnail. Um, I'm just wondering how it's going to change in death mode. I imagine... I don't know, actually. I really don't know. Maybe it'll just summon more minions and stuff. But we'll see. Alright, so I couldn't get my uh, my hive mind sis to summon in because, I don't know, bad corruption, essentially. So I was like, you know what? I'll go up to the Crimson, see if I can get the Perforator fight going. Uh, and here it is. I really do not know how this is going to go because... I haven't done the perforators in months, and I'm also bad. <laughs> but we'll see. I'll give it a good first attempt at least, but I think it's going to be... I feel like this out of most of the bosses is going to be one of those ones where, like, I have to practice. This does seem like one of those bosses. We'll see. We'll see. I could kind of do with all these enemies kind of getting out of my face, though. All right. Oh, yeah. Buff up. There we go. Okay. So what's it doing then? I'll turn off minimap for now. Alright, it's got little red flares that it shoots down, so you've got to try and avoid them. Okay. It's kind of like the bullet hell almost, in a way. I don't know how much damage those little red bolts do, but I imagine it's quite a bit. 
Okay, the perforate is the woken. So this is the this is the main bit. And you've just got to focus the worm while also avoiding the red bits, I'm guessing. Well, this is challenging. Oh man, this is hard. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to die here. But that, that is a cool fight. I'm not going to lie. That is actually a really cool fight. All right, so I've got my uh, my hive sis this time. So I'm going to give this one a go. Uh, <laughs> hopefully I do it a little bit better than the one the perforate is. But at least this is a boss that I know. That perforate fight, though, was, was really good. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'd love to learn how to do that one properly. I think I almost got it. Maybe if I had an adrenaline boost. Say, say I managed to do through the first phase all right. And then I get an adrenaline boost. And then I use that adrenaline boost to actually take on the worm. You know, to kill the worm off with the adrenaline. That'd be pretty good. Oh my god, there are so many enemies around. This is kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Just because of how many enemies there are. Oh god, oh my god, I didn't even notice that. Do you know when I was just shooting there, I was hitting that block. That is so dumb. Alright. Alright. I'm going to be honest, one thing I don't like about this fight already, I'm going to tell you guys, is the fact that it literally spawns wherever that hive cyst goes. Like, obviously this is this is the first phase, if I remember correctly. But, like, it's kind of annoying not to have it actually move over to where you want to fight it. I guess that's part of the challenge, but this is just looking stupid at this point. <laughs> like, look, look at how much is around, just because I can't really, like, do anything about it. Like, am I meant to build an arena around it? What's that about? Oh, just I want this first phase just to be over and done with as soon as possible. Just because I've got no chance of actually just like avoiding any of this. This is too much. Oh my god, he summons little rain clouds. There's so much on screen that it like it really is hard to pay attention to anything that's actually happening. I'm just kind of hoping that when this first phase ends, I can actually take to my arena and start doing good stuff. Okay, let's see here. All right. Thank God. Okay, let's see what we do here. Oh, I should probably use the mini-map for a little bit of help. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So there's literally a rain cloud above me. Oh, this fight is, this fight is well interesting. I don't know how I feel about this one. The constant teleporting is a little bit annoying because I can't seem to really, like, do much damage or whatever. Okay. Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is not how I remember this fight at all. Like, not at all. What's that dark heart about? <laughs> okay. What are these dark hearts? Are they actually, like, enemies or are they, like, little buffs to it, essentially? It's kind of like, I don't know, it's like a very <laughs> overwhelming brain of Cthulhu, to a point. If that makes sense. Maybe that sounds dumb, I don't know. Okay. Right. So close to an adrenaline boost. <laughs> That's not like me at all. Okay. I don't know when to use my adrenaline boost. I don't know if it's got like another like mad phase at the end. We're gonna see. Okay. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, come on! God, that adrenaline was terrible! That was terrible adrenaline. Okay. At least I'm gonna build up rage in a second just because I'm trying to like. Well, I don't know. I'm not avoiding things very well, so at least I'm going to build up range. Rage. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is there a third phase to this fight? I don't know if there is. I feel like this has got to be it. Okay, now he's literally on top. There we go. Okay, so I have to be honest with you guys. I don't know if I actually like that fight. Like, I don't know. It was overwhelming, but not in the good way. I don't know. I don't know. It was not bad, though, I guess. Alright, so let's see what we got. We got the hive mind. A hive of clustered microbial infected flesh. Sadly, I do not believe killing it will lessen the corruption here. Oh, man. Let's open it up. So we got a rash rotten brain. 
10% increased damage when below 75% life, 5% decreased movement speed when below 50 life, shade rains down when you're hit, true shadow scale, and then we've got a bunch of weapons here. So we got the shade thrower, uh, the unpleasant shadow drop staff, which is this. Pretty sick. Uh, leeching dagger. Not bad. Not a big fan of daggers, so... And then we get some demonite bars as well. I can't remember exactly what these make, so let's check that out. True shadow scale. The tetranoma, so that's the uh, that's the summoning device. So that's post dungeon. You can make this now. Oh, it literally gives you like the crafting recipes to make the stuff that you didn't get. And then the knight's ray, which is an absolute classic, but this is post dungeon as well. So I think the things I'd like to use is the. I'd like to use this, then I'd also like to use this, because this is also great. And is that using bullet or is it using gel? Oh wow, it uses gel real quick. Is there actually a place where you can buy gel? I'm not too sure. Anyway, now that I've got that out of the way, I think it's time for another perforator fight and see if I can do a little bit better. Alright, so round two. Let's see how we do. Oh, am I all zoomed out? Yeah, okay. Right, so pretty bad start because I wasn't paying full attention. But we'll see. Just gonna make sure I don't double dash. That's one of the things that, like, I was really worried about because I was like, if you double dash, then, and you hit one of these, then you're gonna lose your adrenaline. So, that could be really frustrating. So, we'll see. My adrenaline is slowly gonna build, but I just think that this fight is one of those ones that's gonna rely on the adrenaline for the worm section. So, we'll see. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. <laughs> Okay. Alright, I'm pretty proud of- Oh! Oh, really? Oh, man. I was so proud of myself then. I was legit so proud. I can't believe I did that. For real. Oh. Wait, why didn't the worm spawn? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was so focused on looking up at that little brain part. I didn't even look below me. I don't even know if there was any worms. I really don't get that. I'm very confused as to what I did then and how well I did that. Anyway, I guess, well, we did it either way. Man, I was so... Do you know when you get so zoned into anything and you just completely forget about everything around you? That's what I just did with that fight. No joke. All right. Let's see. So we get... Oh, wow. You get a lot with this boss. Uh, you get the bloodbath. That looks like a pickaxe. 29 magical damage, uses 10 mana, drenches your foes in blood. Ooh, that's really cool. The Eviscerator. It's a gun. Oh, I'm guessing that's, like, high impact then, because of, like... Yeah, I bet you that does a lot. The Blood Clot Staff. Summons a Blood Clot to fight for you. Yeah, I turned off my summons because I, I didn't want them doing all the damage. And then a bunch of other stuff. And then the Violent Bloody Worm Tooth. 6% increased damage reduction and... Awesome. This is cool. Now, if I remember correctly, when you mix this with something, it gives you basically, like, better stuff for melee. So, yeah, 15% increased damage reduction and increased melee stats. So, this gives you 17%, but it doesn't give you the melee stats. So, I think for the minute, it's probably worth that I keep that off. Okay. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why I haven't combined my two brains together, it's because you actually need a mithril anvil. Alright. Well, that's pretty good. We've got blood samples as well. I don't exactly know what they go on to make. I'm guessing there are weapons that you can make that we didn't get. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So, I think we've got the good stuff here. The Vein Burster. That sounds so cool, I'm not gonna lie. Right, so, now that we've done that, I guess it's the Skeletron fight. Now, before I go into the Skeletron fight, it's worth noting that even with the best arena, I am absolutely terrible at Skeletron. Like, without a doubt, if you've seen one of my other series before, you will know that I am terrible at this. So, with Death Mode added on top, I don't know how well I'll do, but we'll have to see. But yeah, just know now, guys, I am really, really bad at this fight. For some reason, I have just never figured out the perfect movement of avoiding the skulls. And it's funny because some people do it, and like, they do it perfectly no matter what. But yeah, I don't know why. It's just always been a proper struggle for me. Oh, I need to get to that piggy bank. Sorry, sir. Can you move out of the way? 
There we go. <laughs> right, so I'll see you there anyway. We've got a few minutes to wait, so I'll go build an arena or something. All right, so I'm almost ready. Now, please be aware, and I have said this in the previous clip, I am absolutely trash at this boss. Like, without a doubt, this is going to be like the worst gameplay you see from me. And I really do mean that. Like, I am really, really bad at this boss. Like, I struggle with this in vanilla. And I have no true idea why. I decided to spend another night, by the way, you know, making the arena good. I also put a dryad down there because I was scared. And I also made a mana helmet instead. And I'm going to use this shadow drop staff. Buff up. Let's begin. Okay. I'm already feeling pretty good because I actually managed to avoid getting hit as he came out the gate. So I just used my rage mode then. Oh my god, feeling feel intense already. Okay, let's build up the mana. So I'm using mana regen and mana power rather than relying on mana potions. Because one, I don't have a mana flower. And two, I couldn't be bothered to go and get one. <laughs> and I think this way is a little bit better, to be honest. Because then you don't get mana sickness. And mana sickness is quite a debuff, really, when you think about it. But then again, you do get accessories and calamity that kind of negate it. Oh god. Okay, so the strange thing about this fight is that I'm doing damage to the head. Like, I don't get that. Like, I shouldn't be able to do damage to the head till I've destroyed the uh, the hands, right? Okay. Alright, going interesting so far. I can't seem to... Oh, there we go. It's a little bit better. Alright, so I've destroyed two hands now, which means there are going to be more skulls. But... Ranger seems to work pretty well here, so let's do that. There's a part of me that wants to go back to um Oh one second. When I when I can actually like think about what I'm doing. There's a part of me that wants to summon the uh the mushroom clump or whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of it because I'm I'm so stressed. <laughs> okay. God, it does so much damage every time. Oh, I've actually got adrenaline? I didn't even realise. Oh my god, I just wasted that adrenaline. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. God, I messed that fight up so bad. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a clutch. That just shows you how bad I am at that fight. I messed up my adrenaline and then almost died because I panicked. Whew. That actually, like, gets me going. Oh my god. I'm well... Heart's pumping. Skeletron. The curse is said to only affect the elderly. Ah. After they are inflicted, they become an immortal vessel for an ancient demon of the underworld. And then basic items. Cool. Right, well, because we've done that, that now means that we can go into the dungeon. And then apparently, we can do the aquatic depths... Oh, no, wait. It's not called the aquatic depths. It's called the abyss. We can do the abyss biome now. But that does mean we do actually have to do Queen Bee at some point, and also Slime God. So we'll see, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. So I just want to thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Four bosses, I'm really proud of that. Four death mode bosses in one episode. That's got to be a record, right? Well, just want to say thanks, and I'll see you all tomorrow for day number six. Peace.